Okay, friends, I want to I want to show you something that when you I like a I like a big palm swell, okay? But when whenever grain runs out, th these handles are I mean, look at this. I this you can tell straight up and just deadly. But see right right there. See that right there? Look, you'll see it. See that? This is heartwood, okay? So what heartwood means? There. Friends. So if the baby doesn't come today, because today... Through the years here, of haft and axes, yes, I have yeah. run into... One of the things I've run into a lot of is I find a nice premium <laughs> handle that I like, but I found that if it was a too sharp of an angle without a, a flat spot to bang the axe when you're hafting your axe, you gotta come up with some other idea or something to, you know what I'm talking about, friends? So as this gets closer to being able to sell this handle to you folks, I want you to understand there's a few things you can do when you get this handle. And I show them in this video. You can do whatever you want. It's nice to have the material there to work with. So yeah. So that, that's just kind of what I was doing out in the bunker. We're getting stronger, friends. We're getting stronger. I'm, st I'm starting to feel better here, but I, I don't want to push it. So these are just some things I run into as I'm going along. Uh, we got more handles on the way. We're going to get logistics straightened out here. So just watch the video. Listen to what I say in here. We're not, they're not on the website yet. They will be. I've just got a few tweaks I got to do and make sure that Rita and we're all online for this. But we'll be able to we'll be able to put some handles on the on the on the website, friends. We, we'll sell some handles. This particular handle, my wedge banger, I need to do some tweaks to. So for now, we're just going to come up with the uh, with the the main one, which is basically the wood bullet handle. Enjoy the video. These are all heartwood. They're, they're all heartwood. Here's a mixture of something incredible. I, I, I love these handles. Okay. Look at that. It's hickory, right? It, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I've got handles like this that are solid, super solid, but I just want to show people the things. Yeah. Like there, you, you can see that check right there. It's friends. It's a dry check. That's it's just super, super dry. Okay. Well, this one had it too. And instead of, friends, I've got, look at, look at me, right? I like a big palm swell. It's just who I am. I enjoy it. Um, there's, a, the, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's just how I like my axes. You know, here's one here. That, I don't even know what that is. That's, I think that's, I don't know. I got no idea. But I like a big palm swell. But here's, Let's see if this one will even... Actually, this is one of my handles. This is actually one of my handles right here. Yeah, th this is it. Oh, and it's a freaking beauty, friends. <laughs> so this is this is my handle. Look at how freaking glorious this is. Okay? You may think that's the grain going sideways, but it's not. The grain in this axe is going this way. Now you can see it. See it? Okay, but it's twisted. It's got an interesting, it's probably not the most ideal, especially with that right there. But you know what, friends? I have kicked the snot out of it. I've used this axe extensively. So, but regardless, this is, is sapwood. You, you hardly, you don't see them the checks as much in, in sapwood as you do. See, look at, this is all got like pitch and everything on it. I've used this ax, friends. Okay. But what I'm trying to say to you is if these handles I'm getting, I, I've got them all like this, a lot of them. So let's, let's look at something here. Let's grab a sap, a sapwood right there. Straight up sapwood, right? Oh, there's some heartwood actually right there. And crazy grain orientation, almost like horizontal, but not quite. Okay. So, so here it is, but no, there's no check. See in the sapwood, there's, there's no, there's no dry check. If you were to heat, throw heat to this, you might get something in the heartwood. Okay. 
Okay. Here's another. Here's another one that's uh, heartwood mixed with sapwood. See, look at the grain in that, friends. All I'm saying to you, this is actually a beautiful handle. It's a freaking beautiful handle. So let, let's get a sapwood handle here. Oh, and if if you got one of my my uh, wedge bangers, what I've been doing with the wedge bangers now, I found that I like a palm swell. We all know I, I do enjoy that. But what I've been doing, friends, and I'll show you what I've... You, you can do it with the... Uh, bandsaw you can do it with your uh sander you can do it with whatever you got Th this is what i've been doing i'll show you Th this is this is a nice club Th this is for somebody banging timber but because when you go to bang this like this if you've got no wood supporting behind you got to be careful so this is what i've been doing Off a little bit of the flare, and then like this. So you still got your palm swell, but it's not as pronounced. Just knocking, knocking that off a little bit, because if you've got too much flare out, and then you go to bang, you know, when you bang it on, you can actually you can crack it. So you, you got to be careful, and I suggest chamfering these. So that you're not hitting on edges, you're you're hitting on a on a a rounded surface, dead. But here's what I do, and I'm glad I did that with this one. Here's the two options. See, so basically just zip, and it'll get rid of that little check right there. This is not a horrible ordeal, it's not, and it's only in the heartwood. And it's because this is left out to fend for itself out here. That's why that is. But, uh, so I just done this. And I got to be honest, friends. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So there's that. Or there's that. I like this. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I like this. But you can do whatever. You could even take this down further, friends. You could continue this down. Honestly, you can. You can you can do whatever you like. Uh, that's why I leave them like this, friends. So if that was the case, if you were going to do that, then you would take your pencil, right? You would take your pencil and you would bring an arc like this. And you would just carry this down. Right? And just do 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 a little more if you want. This is such a nice axe handle, I'm not touching this one. It's a freaking beauty. Check that out. Right? And the, you can see there's the little dry check. Right there, you can see it. See? Anyway, very excited about, about this. So... So here is a, a finished uh, product because I'm going to get Rita to help me with this, friends. I'll never do it if, if I don't have Rita to, to give me a hand with it. I just won't do it. I won't pack them up. So we're going to get some packing, proper packing boxes, and I'm selling this handle. I'm going to sell this handle. I got to figure out the cost first to get it here, figure out what it's going to be. Uh, but this is, make no mistake, a handle made from... This, right here, from this stock, from a board, I made it, okay? That's that's how I done this. Look at, it's actually the same freaking size, so there you go. So so that's how I done this, and I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy. This is the wood bullet handle, friends. This is it. So, uh... I'm quite, I'm quite tickled with it. Okay. So these are heartwood handles. 
they're beautiful actually they're they're freaking glorious um Okay, I'm actually liking this a lot. Okay, so, right? Okay, hang on a sec. Friends, after you, you, you want to haft your axe first. This is, I'm leaving a spot where you can haft it, where you take your mallet or whatever and you oh, smack the bottom yeah. of the handle, right? You gotta be careful. You wanna have, I've purchased handles before where that was difficult to do. So in making these or making mine, I've left either way, you know, you get it like this. See, there, there's a spot where you can still hammer. I'll talk about that here in a second. So there we go. You see? You can see. There's been some sanding going on there. Anyway, so that changes this. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So the angle is up to you. I made that one sharper because I got two that aren't that sharp. See that, friends? There you go. You see it, it? Yeah, it really does swing nicely. Very, very nicely. But look at that. So it's up to you what you do with your handles. I just wanted to show that it's that fast and simple to change. Like there's a two tie, right? That's a two tie handle. So that's what they do. That's that's exactly what, what I just did. Is that right there? Same thing. Exactly. Exactly the same. You gotta have a, something to hit when you're hafting your axe, right? Boom, 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 boom. It's nice to have a little something or other that you can hit. So, friends, uh, I just got word from Eli that I think he's got a hundred cut and he's, they're on their way. So let me get, let me get situated. Let me get Rita, uh, on her days off for shipping. We'll, uh, I'll figure out what this whole thing's going to cost me getting it from Eli to here, all the whatever's in the packaging and, and figure out what we can sell these for. Um, I'm not going down the road of, of, oh, this has got a little bit of this in it because I, it, He's sending me what he's sending me. And I'm not going to ask that man to say, hey, Eli, don't send me 45 degree angle uh, grain orientation. I'm, I'm not going to do that to the guy. That's like saying, that, that's like saying, hey, you see that tree out in your yard? Go cut that tree down and quarter saw that one eight by eight all the way down. That's all I want out of that tree because I'm very particular about my wood. I'm not that dude. I will go through, just so you know, I am going through the handles like this. I don't mind doing this. I actually enjoy wood. So even, even just doing this. So you know what I did with this one, friends? You may not see it, but actually you will see it. You will see it. Check this out. I can customize. See this here? I actually took this down more in here. I actuated this, actuant, actuated. This is, I don't, this is a glorious handle. I think I might keep this for old Buck and Billy Ray. You can see what I done. Look at that, schlunk, shaklank. Your hand goes right in there. They're all like that. I built them this way. This is how they are. But I actuated it a little bit with my sander. And uh, so we can do whatever we want. This is actually, this is actually a really nice handle. So I will be going through the handles, friends. And if I see something that's got 45 degree, heck, if I see something that's got uh, uh, leaf spring action, straight horizontal, like the exact opposite that they tell you, 
I, I'm, I'm selling it. I'm selling the handle for you. I've used every handle under the sun, every freaking orientation. I don't subscribe to that. Not me. I mean, I've got handles with every, every grain orientation. This is a nice handle, friends. This is a nice handle. Okay, let's put that down. All right, so I just wanted to give folks that, because that, the axe handle thing's always been a big ordeal, right? It's always been, you know, uh, Killinger had great handles, but he sold premium handles, and it's hard, Killinger. It's hard, isn't it, buddy, to have nothing but freaking, you know, straight up and down and this and this. It's tough. You, you waste so much wood. How many did you send back, Killinger? Tell me. Hundreds. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going down that road. That's not how I'm going to do this. Yeah, look at this. Oh, actually, as a matter of fact, oh, that's this one. Yeah, check this out, friends. Okay, this is funny. Yeah, look. Oh, I totally forgot about this. This is, I dulled this one, friends. Remember? So this is my handle, right? Right? And there's a little check right there. A heat check. Well, look what I did. I doweled it. It took me 15 minutes. I drilled a hole, two holes, shaklank, glue, uh, shish kebab. Shish kebab. Fixed. Game on. Go to town. This will stand. This is a wicked axe. I might even sell this axe. Right, friends? Gosh, this is, this, this, this is lovely. I, I'm very excited about these handles, friends. What you would call it? French curve. Here's another French curve. Oh, this thing. Oh, this thing, friends. Who remembers this? Oh, this is glorious, friends. This, oh, this is a lovely axe, friends. This is one of my first big tazzies that I put on a little teeny French curve handle, friends. Right there. That is it. See the check? Am I going to complain to Killinger about that? No, you're not going to catch me doing that. It's a piece of wood that's dry that came across the country um, friends, French curve. Th th this is actually a really nice axe. I love this axe. I haven't had this out in a while. It's time I take that out. Oh, that's a nice piece of hickory. I can feel it. This is a beautiful axe. Man. So let's look at something here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, this is... These handles are nice. Really nice. I think I'll make an axe. No, I better not. Okay. So, friends, here is a... Uh, this is actually a special little axe. This is a Killinger um, French Curve. It's a French curve handle and, and friends, um, you see, you see, see what this is? See it all? These are, they're just dry cracks. That's all they are. They're cracks. See them? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's what it is. It's just what it is. And, and I'm going to tell you what a, what an ax handle. What a freaking axe handle. And what an axe. This axe, friends? <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. It, it, this is a French curve. And I mean, it's curvy, sexy, and it works, friends. It honestly does. This is a wicked little uh, firewood split and axe. It's a plum, um, tazzy, beautiful hang. Um, you know what I mean? And a user, as you can tell. 
gosh, it's a beauty, friends. Yeah. And and it's heartwood, eh? It's it's just smooth. And I heated it, and of course it cracked a bit, eh? But I cut the crack out of this one. See, there it is right there. You can just see it right there. See? Right there. Okay? Yeah. There it is. So it went up all the way up. Well, I got I just cut it off. So I, I actually th this is this is actually an amazing axe handle now. I, I kind of like this actually, friends. This cut this cut down like that. Who likes that? I I really like that. Hey? So that's the, that's the bucking, that's my ax handle right there. Um, when you're hanging these, you can see what it does. It kind of comes up and it, it, it sloops back a little bit. So, you know what I mean? Like it, it is a curvier handle. It is a curvier handle. It's not horribly curvy. It's curves are in a, in a good spot. Down at the bottom, there's a nice curve for your hand to get in there. And caress that, then it goes fairly straight in the backbone, but it has another little curve back there. So it it is a very nice axe. It is. All right. So is this where's one of my handles here? I just want to show. Hmm. Well, let's grab let's grab the latest version of the buck and special so so here's what i talked about in the house right see this is this is what i talked about okay there's there's my my handle there's a straight there it is so there's a few books out there that gives you an idea where where it's at see i'm just off the center okay so I, I believe the reason they say that, friends, I'm, I'm actually going to put you guys on a stand. That, <clears throat> excuse me. So they say for this to be, to, when, it, when it lays flat, is to be at the, ouch, at the center of the bit, right? Well, if you think about that, I think where that comes from, and I'll, and I'll just tell you where I think it comes from, is splitting wood on a chopping block. Think about that. And, and, and I think, you know, they, in some of these books and literatures, I've seen people talk about a, uh, a chopping block, 18 to, to 20 inches, somewhere's in there. Well, let, let's think about that for a minute. Okay? Take a look at that. Right? Oh, heavens to Betsy. I'll bet you that's dead square. Okay? So that... Like, think about that for a minute. Think about that for just a second. What if you're splitting on the ground? What, what, if, what if you're splitting, what if you're splitting chopping block is, is 10 inches? Excuse me, and wide. So now you would want that to be maybe cocked forward. So friends, all I'm saying is take this stuff with a grain of salt. That's all I'm saying. Like, you are the user of the tool. We're not all created equally. We're not all six foot four. We're not all five foot eight. We're all individual people who like the feel of certain different things in our hands. I am very, very tickled with how this, this came together. This, this, I'm actually excited. I'm, I'm very excited. And I wanted to make a video. This turned out beautiful, this one. Oh, it did. Okay, so there's that. So now, just to recap, friends, what I just talked about was I, I didn't have to cut this off, but there's still a platform right there to do this. These will be sold like this, friends. They'll be sold like that. That That's... Th there, that's how it's sold. These freaking, I'm friends. I'm, 
I'm just being very honest. And here's another thing. If you want your ax to kick forward more, well then take some of this down and get your, get your, you know, it's all in how you haft it. It's all in how you haft it. I really, I really, every time I grab one of these handles, friends, I'm like, gosh, darn it. That one's bent. That's hilarious. That's got a hook in it. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. So, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with with these. So, so you'll get them like this, friends. Haft your axe first, right? Haft your axe. Then make a decision when you got the axe in your hand if you want to go like that or if you want to leave it or do something under here. Get the axe hafted. I, I really, I, I'm really happy. And be careful when you're banging these. When you're banging this, I'm showing you this, friends, because I've experienced it. When you're banging this, hafting your axe, you don't want to bang out here like this. This isn't backed up with much. You understand? You, you want to bang here. Where, where it's running straight down and it's backed up with wood. Right? Okay, just a little tip. Because you'll run into these things. This handle is... Ah! Oh! Every time I grab it, I, I don't know why. I just... So I'm sending these couple off to, to, uh, to Liam. Where are they? Where's Liam's? It's cold in here. Look at me. I'm naked. Crying out loud. Oh, there they are right there. Yeah. Yeah. One right there. Oh, and there's the other one. Yeah, right there. Those are the two going to Liam right there. Shabango. Ha ah! Okay. That's it. And you know what else I thought about doing, friends? For the ones that are... Um, like I told you, I'm, I'm not going to bother Eli with, oh, make sure you go through and give me nothing but straight grain. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it at all. You know what I will do, though? If they're unacceptable to sale for, for hafting, for using, like, let's go in here and just go like this. What's this? Okay, there, there's an axe handle right there. I take a look at that. I sell that right now. I sell it like it is. Beautiful. Yep, that's a seller right there. Okay. But say we run into something that I just feel like maybe is not, like maybe, I, I don't know, may, may, maybe this one. May, may, maybe it's this one. So you know what I do? You know what I do? I sign it. Oh, look at that. Love wins, bucket. And we sell it as something different. Friends, I'm not, I, I, I'm a lover of the wood and a lover of the tree. And to see these things go to waste or, or handles go to waste when they, I mean, look around me. Look, look at, could you imagine how many freaking, I mean, for instance, that ax, my, my tallest ax, most used ax right here. My gorilla, here it is right here. My, you, my most used ax right there. The grain runs completely the opposite that they tell you. Completely the opposite. Friends, look at it. Completely opposite. This is the leaf spring axe. So friends, I'm not a, uh, 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 you know what I'm talking about, friends. Just, oh, I read that. That's supposed to be, no, that's not. You, you do whatever you want to do, but I'm not getting into, my axe handles will not be sold as premium axe handles. They're not going to be sold as premium axe handles. If you happen to get a premium axe handle, then bo bonus for you. <laughs>
Okay, friends, so this is kind of what I mean here, right? So when you put your, your ax down, like this is actually perfect in my mind, right? When you have it down on a flat surface like that, it, it should be fairly, you know, this would be great, but you know, they say close to, to the center as, as possible. So this is perfect to me. That, that's absolutely perfect. Right, so, but that, that's a good way to kind of give, it's, it's seldom I think you're gonna find an ax that's not like that. Depending on the handle would have to have a really interesting curvation to it to not do that. But those are, it's gotta feel good in the hands, right? So that's what I'm trying to make happen with my handles. My handles slip back a little bit. So, so if you hung your ax on my handle, you'd probably find that it would be more so on on this aspect of the scale. Like back, oops, sorry friends, back on the bit. See, like this, it would probably sit back on the bit like that a bit more than say this. Does that make sense friends? Because it curves back a little bit here, right? In here. So, and it all depends on how you're hanging it and where you take your wood. There's a lot to it. So keep those things in mind when you're hafting your axes out there. Friends, work hard, be honest. I'm getting stronger and it's coming soon. Thanks for watching. Buckandbillyraid.com for any year. We got a new shirt coming out, friends, very soon. I got asked by, actually quite a few people asked me about bucking, how about a shirt with something to do with where it all began? Right there, everybody. I guess people are kind of kind of getting nostalgic for some of the older things that happened on the channel back in the day. Well, that truck is the reason I've got everything here. It was the start of everything. So I've designed, uh, helped design a shirt with a company. You'll find out who they are. And uh, we're getting close to completion on design. So that'll be coming soon. We've got a few shirts coming. Anyway, over and out, friends. Catch you on the next video. Work hard, be honest. Most of all, be kind. See you on the next one.